quality. So today's video is on the May Bella box. So this month's Bella box just arrived and it is in this beautiful blue colour box. So this is a monthly subscription box. I think it's about $19 a month and you normally get about five samples uh, just so you can try out products and see if you like them before you buy the full size products. So I really like doing this this way because then I can trial products, uh, but I'm not committed to having to use lots of it because I brought a full size. So I really like this option for myself because I am very picky with everything. So the box just comes like this, comes wrapped in some tissue paper. On top, it always comes with your little card, which tells you the products you've got in your box. Okay, so once I get into the box, I get this little piece of paper, which tells you the products that comes with it. Now this month, I got a choice out of, uh, I think four or five Essence products. So for the Essence product, I chose the highlighter. So this is a liquid highlighter drops. So let me just sample this for you and show you exactly what it looks like. So I haven't actually used this yet either. I did only just get the box the other day. Okay, so just taking the lid off. Let me see if I can pop some on my hand. Whoa, a lot comes out at once. Okay, so loads came out of that. So you have to be very careful and it will probably be a best option to pop it on something flat um, like, just grab my foundation one this is dirty because i've just put foundation on um but you squeeze your foundation etc into here i would probably do something similar with the highlighter just so you're not getting too much product okay so let me just see if i can wash it out see what it looks like so that's me blending the product out so it blends out quite nicely actually so it's got a nice shimmer, um, not too much color either, which is really good um, because sometimes you don't want like too much of the color. You want like the more shimmer, highlighty look. So this is really nice. It just hits where the light, where the light hits. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm really excited to have play with this on my face. So that was product one. Uh, the second product that I got in this box was the Palmolive Oil Infusions Body Moisturizer. Um, I actually have used this before and I do like it, um, but unfortunately it did have an effect on my skin. So my skin is very sensitive and unfortunately a lot of soap uh, doesn't go down too well. A lot of moisturizers, um, like fake metals, all that type of stuff reacts to my skin. So I will re-gift this on to someone else that it might work for, um, but I will stick with my Dermalogica and my CeraVe because I know that doesn't make my skin uh, peel or get rashes. So the next product I got in here was actually a $100 wine voucher. Um, so this entitles me to $100 minimum spend of $155.88. Unfortunately, I'm not a wine drinker, so I probably won't use this. I might see if any of my family members want this um, because, yeah, I'm not a wine drinker, so I probably won't use it. Uh, the next product in here I'm a little bit excited about. It's the Saint Tropez Instant Tan Gloss. So this is one that just washes off. I'm very excited to try it and see what it looks like when you just want that instant tan, but you don't want to go through all the process of popping the tan on, waiting for it to develop, blah, blah, blah. You know, you get the gist. <laughs> so let me just try this on my hand as well. I might actually try it on my inner arm here, just because that's nice and light. Let me just squeeze a tiny bit out. Oh, a tiny bit, a lot. Same thing, right? So I've just squeezed a little bit onto my arm here. So let me just see what happens. I'm just blending it out because I did put quite a bit on, so going to be quite a big area 
because I don't want it that dark. Okay. So that's what it looks like. So you can see like my normal skin is here and then this is the tan. So it actually looks quite nice and I'm still able to blend it out. It's not like dried down or anything. So I can actually blend it out even more if I don't want it that dark. So I really like that. Just blending it out more. So that's much better. That's more of my tan color that I do go for, um, just because it's not so dark. So you can see it's my natural white and then the tan is here. So I really do like that actually. Hold that up. So now that it's on, it should dry down and stay on there until I wash it off with water, the instructions say. So I'm just gonna keep it on the rest of this video and then we'll take it off at the end. I'll see what it looks like on a baby wipe. So the next product I got in here is from Bean Body. It's an eye cream. Um, so it's a caffeine and sheer butter based eye formula to target tired areas, dark spots and fine lines. So I'm interested to try this as well. Um, I'll show you when I do try it out. Um, I will do a quick um, test on the inside of my arm just to make sure that I am not allergic to it. So i just pop a little bit on the inside of my arm just to make sure I'm not allergic and then I'll give it a few hours before I try it. Um, I might try it tonight before I go to bed. So very excited to try this. I do love a good eye cream. So the next product I got is John Frieda and it's the Violet Crush for Blondes Intense Purple Shampoo. So it instantly knocks out stubborn brassy tones for a cooler blonde. So this is really good because a lot of people don't know what good purple shampoo is. So this is good for those still trying to find a decent purple shampoo. Um, now for me, unfortunately, I probably won't try this anytime soon. I will keep it in my collection and maybe try it um, a little bit later on. Um, but for this month, I won't try it just because I do have that psoriasis on the back of my neck, um, which I'm still trying to make sure that it's completely gone before I swap to any new hair products. Um, so I am seeing my hairdresser on the weekend, so hopefully she'll be able to let me know if I should go back to using normal products or whether I need to stick to the psoriasis one. Um, so we'll see how that goes and what she says um, before I try this out, but it probably won't be in this video. But if you do want me to try it out, leave a comment down below and I will do that for a future video for you. And the lucky last product is actually a Peter Thomas Roth water drench hyaluronic cloud cream hydrating moisturizer. I'm actually really excited to try this. Peter Thomas Roth um, is meant to be a really good brand. So I'm very excited to try this out. Um, again, same thing. I'm going to do a quick patch test and I will try it out if I'm not allergic to it. Um, I just have to be so careful with my skin. I never know what's going to make me react and what's not. Um, but my biggest things is like soaps and moisturizers and things like that. So I always do some patch tests on my inner arms. So I've just done the moisturizer on this arm and I did the eye cream on this arm here. Um, so I will make sure that I leave them on for a few hours unless I start feeling any sensations at all. Um, and yeah, if they're all good, then I will try them out and I will add to me trying them out into this video so you can see me using them as well. Um, but so far for the two products that I did try out, I really like the highlighter. Now that it's dried down, can you see it there? I think it looks stunning. It's very subtle. Um, 
it just looks really beautiful. I can see this one being something that I would definitely have in like my day-to-day -day makeup. It's really nice. So, and for the tan, I really like this. Um, look at my arm. It just looks so tanned up there. So I really like this. So um, I'll probably use this maybe when I have like an outing or something. I just want to look really tan. It comes with 30 mils of product. So I might be able to get maybe two goes out of this if I just do like my chest area where my top sits and then like my arms and then um, my legs I normally wear three quarter length pants so if I just focus on what is seen outside of my clothes then I might be able to get two or three goes out of that so I'm super excited about that as well. As I said two of the products the Palmolive oil infusions uh, body moisturizer i'm not gonna try this because i know in the past i've had reactions to this brand um so i don't want to risk it at all and i'm not a wine drinker so i won't use the wine voucher um hey guys so i'm just back to try out these creams with you on camera um it's so i don't have any makeup on at the moment um, I've taken it all off and everything. It's actually the next day from part one of this video. Um, so yeah, I just want to try these with you on camera. I did the spot test on my arms and I was perfectly fine with both of these. So I'm looking forward to trying them. So let's have a go. Let's start off with this one, the eye cream. So this is the Bean Body Eye Cream. So I'm just going to pop that underneath my eyes. So I am having to get quite a bit. Normally I can just use the leftover on my finger. Um, but I'm finding that my skin is just like absorbing it too quickly. But I do like it. I still like my Dermalogica one a lot more. Um, but it's a nice eye cream. And eyes is definitely one area you want to protect because the skin is so thin. So you don't want to not protect that area. So next we're going to jump into this, into this Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. So hydration for up to 72 hours for all skin types. So I'm going to grab that on my fingers. I'm just going to rub it in, warm it up. And I like to focus mine on my t-zone because I can get dry there wow it really feels like as though I'm just got like wet fingers and just pop them on my face but like super soft at the same time when they say cloud cream it really does feel like a cloud you know that feeling that you get when you like when you shoes for the first time it feels like you're walking on a cloud sort of like that same feeling that is so soft wow i really like that cream i don't think i've ever felt a cream like that before it's not sticky either so that's really good you can wear it by itself i really like both of these products uh this is definitely my favorite out of the two um and so i thought for this box here i would show you guys what i vote as my favorite product so now that i've tried all but one of those products i'm going to choose this as my favorite product i don't think i've ever felt anything that felt so nice before and it has left my skin like really really soft like really soft and my skin has just like soaked all up really nicely so yeah, that is this month's Bella Box. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below and don't forget to subscribe and change your notifications all so you don't miss any of my future videos. And as always, thanks for watching guys.